Hey guys, how we doing? Back again. Another wild camp. I said it last time, I think this must be some kind of record. I've been up so much since I started wild camping. Never been up this much. Anyway, uh, just showing the night tonight. Uh, we come back to the Rickos. Um This was a very, very last minute planning. It was literally I think, about half past one this afternoon. We were chatting via WhatsApp and... Uh, Subject of camps come up, and next thing you know, we've got a camp tonight. So we come up to the Rick Oss. Um I'm going to do something tonight I've never done before while wild camping. Well, I have done it before, I've just never slept in it before. So, stay tuned, guys, and I'll bring you back. There we are. We're setting up, guys. There's Shane over there. He's using the basher tonight. <laughs> now, I said in my last clip about my setup. Come have a look. Come on. Come have a look. Now, maybe not to the standard of some wild campers, but tonight I am using a 3x3 multicam tarp in a plow point configuration. I got my DD Magic carpet, the airbed that I found the other day, my DPM um, bivy. <laughs> which outside the tank very kindly uh, put a zip on for me to make it easier for me to get in and out and to put my sleeping bag in and my DD Duraku sleeping bag. Down there is a 65 litre sack. Uh, I'm going to be talking about that again probably in another video. But yeah, so I literally picked up the baby off in this morning and obviously with the camp tonight I'm going to use it. So thank you tank when you watch this buddy. Greatly appreciate it. But yeah, that's my setup for tonight. I've never done it before. Let's see how it goes. As I said in my last video, I'm going to be doing a bit more ground dwelling now. Now I've got that inflatable mat. Under the inflatable sleep mat as well as a roll mat. And I have got a new toy. Hope this falls. Nice. So I'll be using that as well. I've got that on my hip. Didn't walk around Asda when we went shopping with it on my on my hip. Mine that would have caused no end of friggin' grief. But but yeah, guys, that's my setup for tonight. Pegged out, easy setup. I think it was up in like two minutes, literally. Uh, bungee up there on the tree. Pegged out, far far end. These are we got one peg in each. Uh, each corner and a, another couple of pegs as well. Fish bash job done. So let's hopefully. Fingers crossed, it'll do me good for tonight. I've brought my big saw up as well. There's a lot of big dead wood up here, so once we get the fire going a bit later, I'll be using my silky big boy. Anyway, guys, enjoy the video. Fair play. You come away from the tarp, that multi cam tarp, and you see how really well it blends in. So I think if I was really further back, It'd be actually really well camouflaged. Quite a good point purchase at that 3.3. 3x3 or 3.3, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm well impressed with that one. But yeah. The gas you see lying around is not ours, guys. Obviously, if you've watched the channel for a while, you know there's gas up here before. And Shane's uh, bash is well hidden as well. All well camouflaged. But yeah, it's good. Good up here. We'll take what we can with the gash tomorrow. Not a bad woodland. Much better than what, what it was like when we were up here last time. The last time we were sinking into the mud. But thankfully it's been a couple of dry days. Knock on wood. <sighs> hmm. Hey guys, how are you doing? Well, just sorting out my headlamp for later, make sure that's alright, it's prepared to go. Um, my bed's ready to go. I am re I am actually looking for really looking forward to getting in here tonight and sleeping under the plow point. Uh, obviously using the bivy bag. It's a zip that tank put in for me earlier today. You know. I mean I it comes down there. Right the way down to up there, so it's a good, I would say, three feet 
and yeah that's really going to help and obviously help me get inside the sleeping bag then I can do it all up and I'll have the sleeping bag and the bivy bag so yeah hmm should be good I am looking forward to it uh because as I said earlier, it's the first time I've actually slept in a plow point. Because obviously the front is completely open. Change up their cooking. Uh, but yeah, should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit, guys. Hmm, beer o'clock. <laughs> me in my pit and in all fairness the temperature's dropped well, so, so it's really dropped so yeah I'm in my pit now sleeping by a baby bag hoodie on and head snack so I'm gonna watch a film for a little bit and crash out uh, probably gonna be another very short video again um, apologize for that guys for the lack of content but tonight it's just been a bit of a chill out really. Just talking, having a laugh, having a couple of beers and uh putting the world rights. But uh yeah, anyway guys, I will catch you in the morning. I'll let you know what's going on here. Good morning guys. How are we doing? Well, sorry for the lack of filming last night. As I said, we are just talking and putting the world to rights, really. But anyway, uh, yeah, we've packed away. Shane was up about five. He was over there. I was up soon after. This is where I was. There's the pack. <sighs> so it's all sorted now. Just waiting for a brew before we head out. Uh, weren't too bad actually sleeping in the plow point. Um, it was a bit cold. I mean, temperature did, did drop last night quite rapidly. But yeah, I'll definitely do it again. There will be more ground dwelling camps to come on the channel. That I promise you. Uh, I know for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be flat out in work. So if I get out, it'll be last minute planning type of thing. So. Hopefully, I'll get something done in the next couple of weeks. Here. If not, there will be a camp after the Shane and I've got some overtime coming up. So um, we are we are said after our batch of overtime, we will be doing a camp. So that you will have that to look forward to. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I will be trying to throw a, a a video to do a review on the new pack I've got. I will say. Not bad at the moment. A couple of little things I changed personally, but it's a good pack. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to have a brew, and I'll give you, come, bring you back as soon as we've uh, had our brews and are heading out. Hey, guys, well, that's everything packed away. Excuse me, just had the coffee now. Uh, we're going to get out of here. It's just, well, it's just going to have six on it. There we are, 25 to 7, so we'll be out here now. Been a good camp. Last minute, but uh, they say the last minute unmade plans are the best. I don't think it's far wrong, to be honest. It's been a good night. So, yeah, been a good night. Shane's already heard someone creeping past about half four this morning. Yeah, he shit himself. Mind you, if I had you that, I would have too. Um, the road is supposed to be haunted. There's some flowers up there with police tape around them, so I don't know if someone committed suicide here. You know, who knows? Whatever. Anyway, it's been a good camp. 
thank you for watching guys and i will catch you on the next one